Here's the latest setup. Using the tree to pull it up a little bit more. And I've got this rope on here to hopefully keep it from falling that way if it does lose its balance. I'm almost there. Pulling sideways now off this tree. And there it is, resting where I intended. It took about four hours to get it from lying there on the ground to this position. Here's the next setup. I'm attached here. I'm hoping that this will not only pull it this way so that it rocks over top of that, but it also will have enough grip to move it along the boat towards the stern. That's just a safety rope in case it falls left or right, which it shouldn't because I've got these wood boards fastened and roped down so that it should stay fine left and right. Let's try it. Not what I expected it to do, but it is off the ground. Everything's holding on. It should rock over pretty easily. Yeah, this is pretty light to rock it over. Mast is on board. That was a good day. New plan. As I bring this mast further and further this way, it's more and more obvious that a lot of these limbs are going to be in the way. So I have to cut those first. Here's the results. And here we go. Sliding down the guides nicely. Just dragged the mast forward with the winch and I dropped it inside the hole. Latest setup up to here and then that goes to the winch. Fail number one. I was using the rubber mallet to scoot this along underneath the mast and then it fell out from underneath it which made the mast fall which made it hit this piece which is bent in now which made it pop out of here and then all the tension from here made it slide all the way there. I'm lost, I'm angry, and I'm armed. Not really. I just wanted to quote Malcolm Reynolds. Yesterday I was angry, but this morning I think I found a solution to this mast dilemma that I'm having. Here's the latest setup. I'm gonna remove this piece. It's actually pretty easy. Hopefully the mast will fall down into this slot. It's almost the same size as the diameter of the mast, so it might get stuck, that's okay. And this should allow it to slide easily over the edge. It would get stuck on the metal. Here's the winch that's going to hold it in place. It won't fall all the way down that way. This rope might get put underneath the mast, but that's no big deal because the mast rolls very easily. Here we go. Next move got that braced on that end and then I made this brace just now it's not bolted to the deck but it does have bolts running almost all the way through the bottom piece so that should help made this brace yesterday that's just for it to slide over and then already I've got this dipped underneath the deck now I'm pulling out this rope which is surprisingly easy That 
went well. Here's another view from the inside. Here's what it looks like from up on the deck. I'm actually only 10 feet above the boat, but the GoPro makes it look like it's super far away. Have this simple setup here, the winch. I cut out this section so that I could slide the mass through because I'm gonna push it down that way from the top. This will take up the slack and hopefully I'll be able to easily arc it down to the bottom because the further on the mast I can move it this way, this will be the pivot point and there'll be more weight down here compared to up there, which should make it a lot easier to pivot the mast. Now my hope is to drag it along these tracks. How's that for luck? Up top, it's looking good. Here's what it looks like from above. This is how it ended up inside. Everything worked out. I started working on the mast July 1. Today is July 18th. Here's how the slot cover turned out. This is just a rectangular lid. Nothing special about it. I bent it, welded it. Here is a piece that turned out way better than I thought it would. There's two separate pieces, and you bolt it tight. This isn't even tight yet, and these pieces will close. I'm going to use tar, maybe some cotton around the edge to seal it. Same thing, tar here, and that's how it turned out. Fits in between the slots on all of the reinforcement. overlaps on each side. The rear piece overlaps the front piece. Here's some butcher board that I got from Amazon. A lot of filing later. Got the wheel fitted nicely. On the end is the sheave with its attachment part that'll fit over the top of the mast. The rope will go up with it and everything should work once it's up there. The reason I'm doing it this way is because all of the sailing vlogs have people going up the mast and they go up there to get a line loose or repair something. I'm hoping that I never need to do that because I'll be able to use a pole to get the sheave and the attachment for where the mast light is gonna go and just bring it down to me and repair it while I'm here on the deck and put it back up. New plan. This will be the first pole that goes up. It's got the sheave attached to it. This rope will keep the pole next to the mast as it goes up. Once this pole is extended up to here, I'll slide it on. This bolt will stop it from going further down and then I'll just push it the rest of the way up.
The sail is far from ready to be used or even raised fully. I don't have all the battens in. I don't even have all the battens. But I thought I would do at least a partial raising 